We're joined by Charlotte Rose, who organised today's protest, and by Miles Jackman, who's an obscenity lawyer. Welcome to you both to Sky News tonight. Charlotte, let's start with you. An unusual demonstration. Yeah. Why did you organise it? Um, well, when, when it came upon um, Twitter, of all the, the, the regulations that had gone through, you know, there was a bit of an uproar and people were stating something needs to be done about it. Mm -hmm. And um, somebody tweeted me and said, this is a person that needs to get on board in that. And I thought, let's do something about it. Miles, what has happened in the law? What's the change? In the 1st of December, so Monday last week, the AVMS regulations came into force by way of a statutory instrument. What that means is that the law has changed for video on demand services in this country. What can be shown is regulated by the Association of Television on Demand or whatever they're calling themselves this week and they have decided that certain activities that are perfectly legal to perform and legal under the Obscene Publications Act should be verboten. That's the point because if you, if you want to watch this stuff I mean can you buy DVDs with it on? No. You can't. Not even if they're made abroad? If they're made, well, Miles is the expert in regards to the law's side of this. Yeah, because I think the government's argument is all they're trying to do is to bring online, as it were, streaming in line with DVDs. That's the argument that they've used. So uh, the DVD laws date 2000 after a um, high court decision. So we're only 15 years out of date bringing that up to date with the internet. But is it, is it true that that's what they're doing? That's they? the excuse that they're using. Social values around sexuality have changed in the last 15 years. I've conducted trials including the porn trial and the obscenity trial which have shown that certain activities members of the public absolutely not bothered about. Yet the BBFC and Atford decide that these activities should be prohibited. But this is simply aligning really what's on DVDs and what's online, so why the issue in some ways? I mean you could argue this is just sort of making things a bit more streamlined. Sorry, um, you know, at the end of the day the what this has done is this has affected people in the sense that it's, it's, it's not about what they've done. They've done it without consent. So they're censoring us without our consent in doing so. So basically they're saying that we are not allowed to watch a legal activity in the privacy of our own home. I mean, one of the things is banking, for example, that, that, that is... I mean, what happens now if someone were to break the law and watch streaming of... of well, I think of the spanking. bigger issue here is actually censorship of the internet. So an unelected quango have declared trade sanctions against foreign countries' trade. So they have coerced the banking institutions yes. to prohibit payments of UK credit and debit card users from purchasing material from abroad. So it's not so, so much that you face just, legal, legal sanctions It's not or just the issue of pornography. Yeah. Pornography is the canary in the coal mine of free speech. Yeah. If it dies, other freedoms will fall off. But in other words, this is not equating watching these activities with uh, child pornography, for example. Oh, good lord, no, no, this so wouldn't be regulated no, so you if don't it were face indecent you material. But, and this is about consensual adult material viewed by adults. Yeah, but what I'm saying the penalties aren't the same at all. It's no, it's, it's a regulatory matter and therefore it's about fining people so that Atford can line their pockets. Yeah, as many have said the, these laws frankly focus on the wrong areas. It doesn't really tackle things like issues of consent. Quite. And is, is that a, a big problem here? It is indeed. Our Prime Minister has voted against teaching consent to younger women in schools and is sending out a very mixed message about sexual consent by prohibiting sexual activities which are consensual between adults. And so certain communities, particularly female pleasure, LGBTQ, BDSM, etc., are being disproportionately targeted. And Charlotte, it's not a one-day protest this is going on. No, definitely not. I mean, um, the, the public today, has just been absolutely amazing. Um, the passions and, uh, that the people had today was fantastic. Um, it was amazing. It, we are going to be doing it again. And, you know, this is just the beginning. At the end of the day, nobody has the right to censor us without our consent. Okay, so we're going to fight that there. battle. Okay. Okay.